I'm gonna take a wild guess that you are no longer interested in having female friends. Maybe you already have a bunch, maybe you're in the friend zone, but you wanna to get to a point where a woman sees you more than that. You want what's called sex appeal. Sex appeal is gonna be you being sexy to a woman, showing her that you are a sexual being and her being attracted to you in a way way different than being a friend. In a nutshell, what we're talking about here is sexual attraction. And that is what's gonna get a woman attracted to you in the way that you want. So on today's video, what I'm gonna be going over are all the various ways that you can up your sex appeal so that you're more sexually attractive to a woman and not just as a plain, boring friend. Now, some of this stuff and some of the things I'll be saying today, it's not stuff that's necessarily gonna be instant, some things will. So you just have to know that these are gonna be things that you're gonna be working on all the time, okay? This is stuff that is never gonna go away. In fact, some of the things I'll be talking about are stuff that's just good for you in general. But if you want to increase your sex appeal to women, this is stuff that might take a little bit of work. Either way, I've simplified it down to just a few things that if you work on these, you will 150% increase your sex appeal. So let's get into it. This is one that is probably very obvious, but if you wanna increase your sex appeal, let's talk about some of the outer things, right? So some of the things that a woman might see in terms of what you look like physically. Obviously, you can't change your height and you can't change the way you look, and you can't change how much hair is on your head. But the one thing that you can change, pretty much no matter what, is you can change the way your body looks, meaning you can go to the gym. So obviously this is nothing new, this is a pretty basic tip, but if you want to increase your sex appeal, just know that Creating a good body will help with it. Do you have to be amazing, stunning weightlifter with shredded six pack abs and huge muscles? No, you don't. But I'm gonna just guess that if you get into the gym right now and start to create the habit of going more often, then you will have a nicer body than you have now. And of course, that is attractive to women, okay? A lot of guys say on the comments that that's pretty much all you need is money and looks, and if you don't have those, you're screwed. That is not true. But it is true that money and looks do help. Of course they help, right? Still, there is a physical side. Like women want to be attracted to what you look like, but it does contain more than just that. However, this does help. So yes, go to the gym. Hopefully you're already going. At least get in there right now. And this should be something that you're doing for the rest of your life. For you, for her, you know, for just the good of your health and your body. So Go to the gym, make it happen today. Okay, let's stick with this theme of outer, right? We're talking about the way you look, we're talking about your appearance, and the next thing in line is gonna be fashion. Now here's the thing, is that there are many routes you can go with this, but if I can give you my simplest tip on fashion, it's to find a look and stick with it, whatever it is. If you're wearing things that are just kind of bland and boring, you don't have a look going for you, then I want you to tap into that. So what you can do is just go into Google and type in men's styles, and you're gonna get a whole different list of styles. Tap into one and start buying the clothes to look like that style that you want. Stick with that, and I guarantee whatever you pick, you're gonna look better than you look like right now. So I'm not telling you to wear one specific type of fashion. It's different for everyone, and you gotta feel more comfortable and confident in the things that you like, but pick a style and stick with it. This will 100% increase your sex appeal because it's gonna make you look better physically. It's gonna make you look better on the outside. Plus, you're just gonna be more confident and that increases sex appeal as well because you're gonna be more assertive and more sure when you're talking to a girl and be more decisive because of that confidence. So let's just summarize what I said here. We're talking about outer appearance, going to the gym consistently and picking a style that looks best. Okay, so that's the outer stuff. Let's move to some of the inner stuff. When I say inner stuff, what I'm talking about are your behaviors and your actions, the way you are, the way you act. So it's not what you look like, but it's more about what you're doing and the actions that you're taking. A lot of guys, they don't focus on leading. 
okay? A lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll kind of let the woman take over, or they won't be as assertive, they won't make decisions, they really try to cater to the woman. So it's like, oh, what do you want to do? And what do you want? And and even some guys won't even approach women because they'll just think, oh, the woman should approach me. And they try to be kind of this more 50-50 in the actions here. When instead, you need to practice leading and being decisive. These are behaviors of an alpha male, of a masculine guy, of a guy who can really create large sex appeal. Very attractive to a woman when you can be decisive and take the lead. This goes all the way from you going over and approaching her to getting her number, to taking her home, to going on a first date, and so on and so forth. Even picking on what you guys are gonna be doing on the first date. And even in a relationship, it's gonna be more sexy when you're making these decisions and you're taking the lead. She wants to follow you, you are the leader. This is what makes attraction work. Real quick, I go deeper into these concepts in terms of how to lead, how to be more charismatic, how to be more attractive, how to have conversation with women that make it really interesting, being a great conversationalist, and a bunch more in my new program called the Irresistible Academy. Well, I should admit, it's not 100% new, it's been around for a while, but now it's available to get without a free trial. You can just jump right in and start the program right away. It's a 12 month program where it's teaching you every month a new factor of your life that's gonna make you more irresistible to women. Check it out, there's a link down below at tripadvice.com slash academy. Join the Irresistible Academy as soon as you can so you can start tapping into all these areas of your life that make you more sexually appealing and as well more irresistible. Every month, new info, you're gonna love it. But let's continue here. So now we're talking more about the behaviors, right? About these inner qualities. Here's what's next. And this is more of a mindset that's going to then lead to your behavior. So in the very simplest terms, you gotta start tapping into a mindset where you stop caring what people are thinking about you. I work with a lot of clients, guys who I coach, and the number one thing that holds them back is them so concerned what people think about them. They're too concerned about getting rejected because they're worried what the girl thinks about them. They're too concerned about going over and approaching a woman in public because they're afraid about what people are, think, are gonna think about them. They're afraid to go after their dreams and their passions because they're afraid of what their parents or what their friends might say. They're living their life by other people. Now, I know you're probably thinking, how is this gonna make me more sexy to a woman? Well, if you're acting in accordance with you not caring what people are thinking about you, you're gonna be making decisions and doing what you wanna do, which is gonna mean you're gonna come off more confident. Not caring equals more confidence because you're not worried, you're not anxious, and you're just living in the moment and you're taking action on the things that you care about. So if I were to go into your brain and magically remove the part that cared what people thought about you, you have no idea how much success you would have in life. You'd be talking to more women, you'd be more free to make jokes and be uh, more interesting to people. You'd probably be doing things that uh, take a lot more courage and taking more risks that are gonna help you maybe with your career or maybe in your relationships, whatever it may be. I want you to, step one, be aware of what it is that you are thinking about. What are you so concerned about what people are thinking about you? Where is this showing up? If you're aware of it, then you can stop it. And then once you're aware of it, you can say, okay, I'm just gonna put this aside for a second and just forget about what other people think and do what I wanna do and do what I know it's best for me. And again, this is uh, an infinite amount of things that it could be. But the first step is awareness. What is it that's holding you back from doing exactly what you wanna do, saying what you wanna say? Try to be aware of it so then you can tap into the mindset of brushing it aside, removing it, and taking action. Easier said than done. You're gonna go through a lot of failures. You're gonna go through a lot of moments where you're gonna have high anxiety and feelings of embarrassment or feelings of shame. But just remember that all those things are normal and it's okay because you're doing what you wanna do. Let me tell you this, 
if you're gonna listen to anything on this video, this is the one you listen to. May seem kind of different, right? Like, no, no, we gotta look sexy. It's all about looks, 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 but no. Doing what you wanna do, taking action that you wanna take is the sexiest thing any man can do. Super masculine. People follow that person. People look up to that kind of person. This is not overnight, it's gonna take some time, but the first step, like I said, is awareness. Here's a real easy one that you can actually use today. The next time you go on a date, the next time you are with a woman in person or you approach a girl wherever, is eye contact. There's nothing more sexy than really, really good eye contact. Looking at a woman in the eye when you're speaking with her, when you're listening to her, and making sure that you don't break that eye contact. Eye contact is very magical because when you're doing it, it's showing a person that you're listening to them and it even shows subtle interest, which is very flirty. And also it shows that you're not nervous and makes you appear more confident, which is also, like I've been saying, very sexy. So this is something that you can practice today. Here's a little trick for you. If you don't know how to hold eye contact really well or you feel like it's very uh, intimidating to do, what you can do is just look into one of the girl's eyes. It makes it a little bit easier than focusing on both of them or focusing on the center of the nose. So you might not know where to look. Just focus on one eye and that makes it easier for you. And also, if you're looking into one of her eyes, it actually looks like you're looking into both of them. So she won't be able to tell the difference. So this is a little tip for you to make it easy. But mainly, I want you to start trying this out, testing it out, and making it as part of your everyday routine when you're talking to anybody. People feel really engaged with you. They feel connected to you when you can look them in the eye. That's why when I'm talking to you right now and I'm not looking at you, it feels a little off, feels a little different, but feels more connected when I'm looking at you. I've really narrowed down the few things that you need to do to be able to increase your sex appeal. I'm telling you, this stuff is powerful. If you can tap into all these, and I know that some of these things are not quick fixes like working out and, and working on your fashion and, and tapping into that mindset of not caring what people are thinking about you and doing your own thing. It takes time, but none of this stuff is gonna happen overnight. But I promise if you start to do it and you do it in the next 30 days and start to tap into some habits to make this more constant, you will increase your sex appeal huge in just one month. So imagine what you could do if you continue to do it month after month after month. Speaking of month after month, don't forget, Irresistible Academy is available right now to you. Every month you're gonna get new techniques, you're gonna get new topics, we're gonna be diving into the most important things that you need to know to become the sexiest, most irresistible man that you could think of. And even if you're in a relationship right now and you're watching this, you should still join the Irresistible Academy because we're going into all aspects of your life the outer qualities, the inner qualities. We're gonna be talking about your fashion. We're gonna be talking about your finances, your health, everything that has to do with living a full, irresistible life. I want you to check it out. You can learn more about it at tripadvice.com slash academy. Join me, hundreds of guys, today. Get in there, learn more about it at the link in the description down below. Hope this helps. I'm always trying to make it as easy as possible for you and giving you the most important information. I'll see you on the next video.